YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back with a Warriors of Chaos versus uh, Vampire Counts replay. Uh, this is sent in by Egypt Falcon, who actually tells me he has a YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you want to go check it out. Appreciate him sending it in. He wanted me to look at this because he feels like that upgrading um, Forsaken can be handy. And I'm trying to see. Let's see what the upgrades really do here. It gives him more leadership, better melee defense, more attack, and more charge bonus. Be interesting. I've never thought about upgrading him. Shouldn't be too expensive. He's got Kolek, Forsaken, Giant, a uh, couple of Chaos Warriors in the back. Looks like just a couple of Marauders up front supporting his Forsaken, maybe keeping them from getting charged. His really only anti-large stuff here is going to be the uh, the Giant and Kolek, which are not necessarily in and of themselves anti-large, but I mean, other than getting charged straight by Blood Knights, they could do some work. Now the Dire Pack here actually uh, is anti-large. It's not spectacular, but it's pretty decent. There's a Mortis Engine on the field. Um, we're going to see several Cryptor units here. I'm seeing uh, three Cairn Wraiths, which is not a bad pick versus Chaos, but not a lot of other uh, infantry here. But I don't know, if the Skeleton Warriors are tanking for the Cairn Wraiths and, and working in conjunction with the Horrors, might be good. Um, there is a Blood Knights hidden back here in the woods that has one upgrade on it. Vlad von Karstein, again, people really seem to be liking Vlad. <laughs> They're Vlad to have him on their side. Either that or they just don't have... I mean, they may not have uh, the DLC, or they just may like Vlad. Because, uh, honestly, I mean, I think Manfred's a pretty good pick for Spellcaster, and then this Trigoy Ghoul King is a pretty good pick as well, in my opinion. Cairn Race going to get bogged down with Marauders. That's uh, pretty nice, and that's going to allow the Forsaken to get in. The Forsaken are going to do a lot of damage, so even though the Cairn Race are resistant, they should take considerable amounts of damage. Here comes the um, Flaming Sword of Ruin, buffing the units of Chaos, causing extreme damage to the Cairn Race. There's the Lightning Strike from Kolek into the Cairn Race as well, who are not resistant to magic. So heavy damage to the Cairn Race right away by the uh, Chaos player. Felt like that was pretty nice. I hear Kolak hammering away on something. Here he is, right down the center. So yeah, Chaos getting a good engagement so far, and the Forsaken are uh, going to start racking up some serious kills. Look at that, uh, the Fire Sorcerer just heading straight into combat there. The Giant is back here tearing up a Dire Pack. He is taking some damage from him, but not a lot. The Mortis Engine swinging in close. Here comes the Blood Knight, so the Giant is definitely in trouble if the, if the uh, Vampire player does this right. But there's Chaos Warriors to help tank that out for the Giant, too. So the Chaos, uh, the Blood Knights here are at risk. They are the only anti-large, really, that the Vampires have that capability. They're going to do a lot of damage, but they, they shouldn't stay there long because they're going to take a lot of unnecessary hit point damage from the Chaos Warriors. See, Vlad's getting the crap beat out of him here in the center. The Mortis Engine, though, has definitely helped tear away at um, some of these Marauders. The uh, Forsaken in there with 22 kills, 26 kills over here, 44 kills. So the Forsaken doing a considerable amount of damage. Mortis Engine very much alive. I wonder why it has chevrons on it. They must have added that. Flaming Sword of Ruin against. Again, so that's going to do extra damage to regen units momentarily. Kolek is pounding the crap out of Vlad von Karstein over here. I don't think even Vlad von Karstein can regenerate that. I'm pretty sure he's going to get his head pounded. So that should be kind of an ugly engagement. The uh, Fire Sorcerer for Chaos goes, but Vlad's also getting taken out. But here comes the Blood Knights. The Giant's still alive. Blood Knights are going to get a great charge on Kolek. Uh, let's see. They cause quite a bit of damage. There's another Lightning Strike from Kolek right in the middle of the Vampire units. Let's see. The Blood Knights... Where they ended up at. So they're here in combat, and they're doing a lot of damage to Kolek. Kolek's trying to get himself free, almost, it looks like. Let's kind of see what we got going on. The Mortis Engine has been around long enough, but it's causing significant hit point damage to a lot of the Chaos units. Kolek looks like he's just getting free of the Blood Knights there, which he's lucky to do because of the mass of the Blood Knights, and he's going to come over here and hammer away at Vlad. So this is a pretty close fight at this point. The Blood Knights following Kolek. Definitely a good choice for the Blood Knights, but I think Kolek is going to seal the deal on Vlad here with uh, a couple more big swings. Maybe not, though. Looks like the Light Wizards after, um, or the Bright Wizards after Kolek as well. After um, Vlad, sorry. Getting confused here. Let's see if Vlad von Karstein is running away. <laughs> 
Oh, Kolek's gonna hammer his butt. Oh. Vlad ate it on that one. If he starts uh, disintegrating, he can't he can't replenish anymore. He's out of replenishment. He replenishes very fast. There you go. That's gonna be Vlad von Karstein. Even deader than undead. What's going on over here? The Mortis Engine. Okay, so they have the flaming sword of ruin again. I mean that that's a pretty nice touch versus the vampires because it does extra damage there. The Mortis Engine eats it. Kolek is about to go down from the explosion of that Mortis Engine, but Looks like he's gonna route away momentarily. So, looks like the uh, the Forsaken, uh, honestly, the Forsaken are not a bad pick at all versus vampires, in my opinion. In fact, I think they're a good pick because the vampires, um, I mean, they're only really well armored unit. I mean, he's gonna be Blood Knights and Grape Guard. Now, of course, you're not gonna fight Blood Knights with Forsaken. Um, but uh, when we think about all the meat shield type units that the vampires bring, Forsaken are gonna hack through those guys at an extremely fast pace and just dish out a lot of damage and so I mean I don't know about the upgrades he seems to think it's worth it what do you all think about the upgrades uh, you can have that discussion with Egypt Falcon definitely agree with the choice of Kolek like the use of the fire sorcerer here against um, the vampires I mean I don't think it was the best picked vampire army ever but I mean it's not too far off base I mean it could be uh, used well against um, the, the chaos army that was here the giant got some work done just chaos warriors for a little bit of balance in the back what'd you all think appreciate that one egypt falcon appreciate you sending it in i got one more for you um see here it's chaos for patchy this one's from another none other than appius rollus the white wizard of my empire campaign and the former appius rollus of my uh west rome campaign which by the way i need to finish i will try and get on that this week and get another episode out it's been way too long uh, but yeah, so Appius Rollus, uh, Tin Rub here when he's online, sent me this. I actually played him in a Dwarf versus Chaos battle a long time ago. It was a lot of fun. He mentioned that. Wow, that is a lot of Cryptors. This is like a... Woo, that's a lot of Cryptors. And I want to say Strigoi can spawn even more Cryptors. So this could be some kind of Cryptor spam. Uh, he's got a Chaos Chariot. Nice! Dragon Ogre. Some of y'all are wanting to see these guys. They're the kind of anti-large component rather than cavalry. I mean, they are cavalry. They're monster cavalry. So we got a Dragon Ogre on each flank. Colex Sun Eater. So lots of Dragon Ogre action going on here. Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Warriors with great weapons. Forsaken. Marauders. Forsaken. Warriors with great weapons. So four Warriors with great weapons. Two Forsaken. Looks like two Marauders. Um, pretty solid pick against vampires. Warriors with great weapons will wreck Graveguard in a head-on fight. There's two Graveguard on the battlefield, so definitely infantry favoring chaos here. Uh, we got a flying lord, Strigoi on a, um... Oh yeah, he's already spawned more horrors. <laughs> I would have spawned them behind the enemy lines, but this is a lot of Cryptors. Uh, I mean, Cryptors are armor-piercing, so potentially devastating towards Chaos, and there's lots of meat shield here. That is, oh my gosh, the Cryptors. But, I mean, the Dragon Ogres should get a bonus versus Horrors. I almost would just bring them straight under center, but, I mean, there's also a lot of Skeletons. I, I think if you bring the Dragon Ogres straight up the center against the Horrors, and then uh, swing in with all the infantry once the charges have been soaked up, you might be able to, to beat these guys back. Gonna wish he had the uh, bright wizard at this, or the uh, fire sorcerer. My bad, it's not a bright wizard. Blood knights hidden in the woods here. Let's see how this one goes. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a crazy brawl with all these uh, cryptors. I'm looking forward to this. Like two factions here with uh, no skirmishers. They're just gonna have to come in and start pounding each other's head. So good luck to Appius. Let's see how he does. Got a forsaken here. Gonna line up against the zombies. Good choice. It's going to cut those guys down in no time. Another Forsaken over here will eat these skeleton spearmen for lunch. It's kind of gross, though. I don't know who likes to eat rotten old bones for lunch. Um, if Kolek can get after the Ghoul King, like if the Ghoul King will hit the ground, then, um, I don't know, it looks like Kolek's going to head this way. Look how fast those zombies melt to the Forsaken. Same thing over here. Just look at that. Forsaken absolutely melt um, vampire infantry. Yeah, those Cryptors, man, they are going to be a horror here. Chaos with great weapons here, getting absolutely mobbed in the center. Colex over here pounding the Spearmen, probably not the best place for him. The Dragon Ogres look like they got a good charge on the uh, Blood Knights over here. The Blood Knights did not get a return charge, and there's the Lightning on them. 
So the Dragon Ogre is performing well there. If he wants to swing these uh, Forsaken back over here and free up Kolak, that would be great. Let's see where the other Dragon... Okay, here comes the uh, Chariots wrecking through a unit of Grave Guards. So good choice there. They got a nice charge. More Dragon Ogres that are free over here. The center gets wrecked by the Vampires, which is not surprising. That is way too many horrors for him to handle. Kolak can get rid of these Blood Knights and keep those Dragon Ogres to help bring down the Horrors. That's going to be a really nice spot to be in for later. He's forsaken 112 kills. 102 kills there because the cheap um, cheap units just couldn't hack it. Chariot's only 5 kills, so nothing impressive here. They're having to run away from the Grave Guard. They're kind of hard to micromanage sometimes. They can do a lot of damage if you can use them properly, but it can be tough versus a player sometimes. Here comes the Dragon Ogre is going to clean up the Grave Guard with Great Weapon. That's definitely not a unit the Forsaken would like to fight. Blood Knight's still hanging on by a thread over here. But they're about to uh, disintegrate. Not a whole lot of chaos left. Some regrouped um, warriors with great weapons. There's a bunch of guys spread all over the field as chariots get mobbed back here. which didn't cause a whole lot of damage and they're completely tied down. So let's see if what little bit of Chaos Warriors remain can finish off quite a few vampires and a Strigoi Ghoul King on his uh, Terror Geist, which is pretty wicked looking. The Ghoul King on a Terror Geist is uh, definitely probably the most frightening vampire lord. Alright, so let's see. Kolex got 60 kills. Dragon Ogres at 27, 15. These Forsaken have got to have some sick kills. 139, 128. So many Crypt Horrors left. I mean, they shouldn't do well versus Kolek, but Kolek has lost quite a bit of energy here from, or uh, health from fighting uh, Blood Knights. Blood Knights, definitely not a great place for Kolek to be um, to be at. It's like the Strigoi's back here mopping up some Marauders. Let's uh, fast forward and see what happens. So, look at this. Appius, even though he's beat up, just, you know, getting ready to face off for more. I mean, the Vampires can come back and probably replenish. Depends on what spells we've got on the uh, Strigoi here. Looks like they do have Invocation in the heck. Ooh, here comes the Lightning right on the Cryptors. <laughs> Colec dropping that. Not going to do a lot to the Cryptors, really. Ooh, look at that Ghoul King. Is he just going to go straight for Colec? This is pretty gutsy. I don't think I would do this if I were the Strigoi. Surely not. Oh, no, no, he's going to use a Gaze of Nagash. Nice dodge by Appius there. Missed most of it. That was good. Made him waste a bunch of his... Uh, I like that perpendicular movement. When Strigoi came here and lined up the shot this way, Kolek moves straight sideways this way, which is going to maximize the chance for a miss. So I like that. Only a couple minutes left in this battle. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see... That's crazy, there's only a minute 15? Does this really get settled in a minute 15? Let's see, might. I guess if Chaos just gets wrecked here, it might get settled. Let's see, Kolek rolling in. I mean, the balance bar is tilting against Appius pretty quickly here. That is a lot of Cryptors. Tons of Cryptors. Looks like Appius is going to get ransacked here. So, Kolek's going to get overwhelmed, I think, in this fight. Yeah, he's getting damaged badly there. The, uh, the Terror Geist putting some pretty big bites on him. The Terror Geist is not bad. And you can see he's replenishing the damage with the Invocation to Heck really quickly. So this one's going to side in favor of the Vampires. It doesn't look like Appius is going to be able to pull this off. His Dragon Ogres are tied up back here with Skeleton Spears. Definitely needed those guys against the uh, Crypt Horrors. That'd be an interesting test, though. I kind of like to run that real quick and see how Dragon Ogres do versus the Crypt Horrors. So he got hit by a pretty massive um, group of Crypt Horrors there. And the Ghoul King. So Appius not able to pull it off. Um, did some really, I, mean, I say really good damage. I mean, it wasn't against expensive units, but love to see the kills on the Forsaken. It's always fun. The Chariot didn't pay off here. Um, probably... I mean, I'm trying to think what else would have paid off better for him here. I mean, against the Horrors... Chaos doesn't have any... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just go take a look. Let's go take a look. 
see what we can tell about uh, what Appius did here. So, let me, first of all, I kind of want to... I don't have my uh, No Lord Required mod turned on at the moment. And I don't want to splice this out at the uh, moment either. So let's just grab some Dragon Ogres. And I'm going to just get a Chaos Sorcerer and take away all the abilities here. Because it won't impact the battle hardly at all. And let's go to the Vampires. I'm going to do the same thing. Just give them a Master Necromancer with no abilities or spells or anything and it'll basically be a decent way to test because he'll be worthless so let's test these guys against a unit of cryptors the uh i mean the dragon ogres I, I would think should easily handle the cryptors it's saying it will appear let's uh give it a shot real quick so i'm i'm thinking that may have been the best way to try and counter this is just bring his dragon ogre straight on into the cryptors um obviously a bit of a risk um because he needed them to help take out the blood knights um, but I mean, the Cryptors represented, I mean, a bigger threat in my mind because there were six of them. Let's just bring the Dragon Ogre straight over here and do this. I'm kind of curious. I've never... They are anti-large. I mean, so the Dragon Ogre should fare very well here. Yeah, I mean, the, this Master Necromancer will have no impact on Spike because he's so weak. Oh yeah, the Cryptors ate it pretty hard on the charge. So just head-to-head -head match here. Let's see what happens. Good armor piercing on the Cryptors, but it's low armor on the Dragon Ogres. Let's see how the bonus versus large stacks up. Cryptors are regenerating, but they get handily defeated by the uh, Dragon Ogre. So I definitely think that this was the the right way to go here. The Cryptors are trying to uh, disengage here. Yeah, I mean they they are gonna get defeated probably two to one by Dragon Ogres, which is close to about right uh, in the uh, price department. Obviously, invocation and a heck could change that some. So I'm not saying this would have won Appius the battle, but it seems like it would have helped him out a lot um, in terms of being able to get rid of the horrors, because a pretty convincing performance there from the Dragon Ogre. So let's pound this Master Necromancer just for fun, too. <laughs> this guy does not belong in a melee fight. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm thinking the Dragon Ogres definitely could have been used to some, some decent effect there versus the... Cryptors. What do you all think uh, about both battles? Give me your thoughts. If you want to go check out um, Egypt Falcon's uh, channel, I'll have the link there. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Really appreciate those of you who are watching. Hope you're enjoying it. I love making these for you. It's going to be a fun chaos week. I've got a ton of replays that people have sent me, and if you want to send them to me, you can. It's at airtotalwar at gmail. Please feel free. I may have enough already to go all week, but keep them coming. I like to, to sift through. Um, I'll bring you some of my own replays as well, but wanted to splice this one in after you'd see me play a couple of battles. Someone asked about Dragon Ogres. They showed up here with Appius, and then the uh, upgraded Forsaken I thought might be an interesting point to discuss whether or not you all think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, any other discussion you want to have? Like I said, appreciate those who are watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. That support helps me a great deal. Those of you who are donating on Patreon, there are still a, a lot of you who are doing that. Very much appreciated. That's actually what helps me buy a lot of my equipment that I record with, so that's a huge help. If you are interested in helping with that, there should be links in the description as well. Obviously completely voluntary, but extremely helpful if you all want to jump in. Appreciate uh, MSI for sponsoring this, and I hope to see you all soon. Air of Carthage, signing out.